So that's all for the previous part. Finally, that is the STP advancement. So finally, we will uh, introduce several modification or some advanced uh, function for the uh, STP. So first is the defect of STP and RSTP. So when we want to improve the performance of it, we need first to know uh, what's it disadvantage, what is not worked very well currently. So think of this network as an example. Uh, if there are multiple virtual LAN, for example, virtual LAN 1, 2, 3, and there are two links, although these two links can both work, but to prevent the loop problem, actually we blocked this part. So this link will be disabled. So you can see that all the VLAN uh, pack traffic, the, the traffic from all the VLANs will go from this link. So in that case, actually it's not what we want. Uh, if we can balance the traffic, some from this link, some from this link, then every link will not be so heavy and the performance will be improved, right? So this is one problem in current STP. So in current SP, uh, STP, only one spanning tree can be constructed. So we cannot do the load balancing. So to solve this problem, actually um, a new idea is proposed. We call it the uh, VLAN broadcasting spanning tree. The idea is that if we have multiple VLAN, then we can set a different tree for different VLAN. For example, for VLAN 1, we set the spanning tree as this one. And for VLAN 2, we set the spanning tree as this one. And similarly for 3, this one, 4, this one. For every spanning tree, we have a, a, for every VLAN, we have a separate spanning tree constructed for it. So in that case, you can see that for all the even numbered VLAN, they will go from this path. And for the odd numbered VLAN, okay, so for even uh, numbered VLAN, they will go this path. And for odd numbered VLAN, they will go this path. Then the traffic can be separate, can be divided and the load can be balanced. So this is a better solution, right? However, for that one, how many VLAN we need to set up, how many spanning tree? So maybe we need to construct much more spanning tree for it. Maybe we need to consume a lot of resource for that. That is not very good. So further improve that problem. Actually, we propose that we can set the spanning tree for a multicast spanning tree instance. So for example, we, we can set a multicast spanning tree instance one, and this uh, MSTI one can be used for all the even numbered VLAN. And for all the odd numbered VLAN, we will a uh, set of the spanning tree instance. So there are only two spanning trees and one for several VLAN, the other for the other VLANs. So the number of spanning trees can be reduced but the traffic can still be balanced. So this idea is much more advanced. This is the idea of a multicast spanning tree protocol or multiple spanning tree protocol. So actually this MSTP, you can think of it as the revision of the STP and RSTP. Actually, it is a combine of the uh, STP and MSTP. So they divide a switching network into multiple regions. And for each region, there has multiple spanning tree that are independent of each other. And each spanning tree is called multiple spanning tree instance. And MSTI is the spanning tree corresponding to a set of VLANs. So binding multiple VLANs together to one single MSTI can reduce the communication cost and resource usage. So previously for one VLAN, we need to construct one spanning tree. Here, uh, you can construct one for multiple, so the resource is reduced, okay? And also the topology of each instance 
actually is calculated independently. So the traffic can very well balance among the multiple spanning trees. And also the multiple VLAN with the same topology can be mapped into single uh, MSTI. Okay, so that's the idea for MSTP. And finally, we will have another idea which can solve this layer two loop problem. That is the I stack, okay? And also we call it the smart link. So for example here, in traditional STP network, we have multiple access switch, multiple aggregation switch, and to prevent the loop, uh, the in each access switch, there will be one part uh, blocked. So the load balance is not good because we can only use this link to transmit data. However, we want to achieve much more fully utilization of the link bandwidth. So how to explore all the bandwidth here? Actually, people propose such an idea, which is iStack. For iStack, iStack is intelligent stack, okay? So the idea of iStack is to aggregate multiple physical switches into logical switch, okay? So we call it the aggregation switch, and we make it to be the logical standalone device. And also for multiple links, for example, these two links, we aggregate them together as a logical link. So here you can see that the, the switches are aggregated as one logical device and one link, another link, another link. So if we look at this topology, you can think of this topology as a non-loop topology. So we don't need to uh, do run any protocols on it to eliminate the layer two loop problem. So by using this iStack technique, we can improve. We can solve the layer two loop problem. And meanwhile, we can improve the link bandwidth utilization because previously we can only use one link. Now we can use two link aggregation. Okay. Actually, there are another kind of technique which we call it the smart link. For smart link, the idea is that previously we have two links and there will be the loop happened, right? Now, if we can combine these two links together and we let one link as the master part, another one part as the master part, another one as the, as the slave part, then traditionally if the network uh, works well, then they use the master part to transmit data. However, if the this one uh, has some failure, then the part two can be active and they can transmit instead of this one. So by using this smart link, actually we can solve this layer two loop problem. And you can see that uh, this smart link actually is easy to configure. Besides, because there is no protocol involved, so there is no protocol package exchange. So by using this smart link, actually they can dramatically improve the speed and reliability of the total network. So this is also a very useful technique. Okay, so that's all for today's lecture. Actually, in today's lecture, we introduced three different kind of protocol. One is STP, another one is the RSTP, and the third one is multiple STP, MSTP. You need to know that all of these protocols are used to prevent the loops on the layer two switches. And layer two switch loop actually caused dramatically performance degradation because it can generate the broadcast storm. And after we use SMTP, they can monitor the network. So they can guarantee, they can eliminate the loop as well as guarantee the reliability. So this is a very uh, important function. They can provide the loop prevention and link redundancy at the same time. Okay, so that's all for today's lecture. You need to know that STP is very, very important for layer two network.